Hi everyone. So now we are going to discuss whether the given number is positive number or negative number. So here we have taken 16 bit number. Even with 8 bit numbers we can do. 16 bit numbers also we can do. But here we have taken 16 bit number. So we will see the code. Assume space cs colon code comma ds colon data. So now here in data segment I am going to declare my data. Only one value we are going to take. So that is n1 space dw. dw means data word. Word indicates 16 bit value. The 16 bit value is 8001 h. So these values will be verified in terms of binary code. So I will explain you. Next display 1 space db. db means data byte. So this data bytes are used to show any string values. So here the string value what I want is positive number end with dollar symbol. So dollar symbol means you can store this particular value in, in a memory. Next display to space db. db means data byte space negative number end with dollar symbol. Okay. Data byte generally we are using to represent 8 bit values as well as data bytes used to represent a string also. So each string has one byte. For example, n is one byte, e is one byte, like that. So the data whichever we want that been declared, those data has been declared. So data end. Now come to code segment. So here we are going to write the program to verify whether the given number is a positive number or not. Start move ax comma data move ds comma ax this is the initialization initialization part which is common for all the programs next line command is move ax comma n1 so now whatever the value we have taken that is 8001 is moved to ax is stored to AX. What here we are going to verify is most significant bit we are going to verify. If it is 1 then it is a negative number. If it is 0 then it is a positive number. So according to that we are going to write the code. So now the 8001 value is moved to AX. Now next line command is shift L. Shift left. SHL means shift left. So AX comma 01H which means one step I am going to shift the value which is stored in AX. So I will show you one second. I will open the calculator. Just here I will type the value. Okay, I will type some value. See here. See according to this what the value I, ha I have given here 8001. Right. So what is the binary equivalent of 8? 4 bit binary equivalent of 8. That is 1 double 1 triple 0. Right. 1 triple 0. So I will write the binary value. Just a minute. I will erase this one. Okay, binary value I will write. So, 1 triple 0 is a binary equivalent of 8. Okay. Next, I have 0. So, binary equivalent of 0 is 4 bit binary equivalent of 0 is 4 zeros. Again, 4 0. Again, Here it is 1. Right. So this is what the binary equivalent of. This is what the binary equivalent of. 
given number so given number is 8001 right given number is 8001 so 8001 binary equivalent is 1000000000000000 001 right now what we are going to do is we are going to shift left hand side left hand side means this side means this side we are going to shift okay one one step we are going to shift first uh, when i am shifting what is the value i am getting one i am getting am i right or not one i am getting one i am getting right so so what according to this code just a minute it is visible no right okay fine so here it is one right so what is the next line command see the next line command jump carry l suppose if the carry comes so here carry came, uh, came actually one came right here one has come so carry is there immediately it will jump to l so in l what we are what we are actually giving what the value what the command we have given ma here move ah comma 09h so this line command is actually used to get the output of string to get the output of string this line command is by default command we have to give to get the output of string we need output of string what is that negative number that is what the output we need right so according to this number most significant bit is 1 so we understood that this is a negative number so what will uh, here it will jump to this l then this move ah comma 09h is the command which is used to get the output of string the next line command is move dx dx is the location where you are going to store your string that is display 2 so before that you need to use a op, op code called offset so offset space display 2 then terminate the program okay this is one side suppose if the carry is not not there if carry is not there then this line command will be executed what is the line command same thing move ah comma 09h this is the command by default command which is used to get the output of string next is move dx comma offset display 1 then terminate the code that's it okay this three line command is for to display positive number this three line command is to display negative number understood so this positive negative is based on the carry value if carry is 1 then it is negative number if carry is 0 then automatically it is a positive number so code ends end start so we'll run this code first we'll save this one then we'll run this one then we'll check the output we understood that this is a negative number but we'll check so masm space file name is trn dot asm click on enter so there is no error then link space file name trn dot obj click on enter next debug space file name dot exe click on enter press u click on enter so now we are getting the command which our we typed there now here you need to give as you know already g equal to starting offset address then you have to give 00 where we have given interrupt 21 is there 0011 that is what the offset address right but here you need to give next to that what is the offset address is there 13 is there that you have to give 
here we have to give g equal to starting offset then 0 0 last interrupt 21 is in 0 0 1 b sorry 1 8 we need to give next to that whatever the offset address is there that you have to give that is 1 a click on enter so it is a negative number it is a negative number thank you ma'am